everyone, and welcome to another episode of Checking In. I am your host, Kisa, and who are you, young sir? Uh, who am I? Yeah. The only one, Jay Gatsby, the great one, meaning none before it, none to come. The great one. You could have fooled me. I thought you were a squatter. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to call the authorities up in here. <laughs> Crazy because you my shorty, you know I clean up. <laughs> my cleanup game is remarkable. Don't do that. Yeah, we'll see when when it when that happens. Yeah. You know, <laughs> COVID bid, COVID bid, chill out. Yeah, I got you. But Not anyway, good. this is um our second episode of checking in, uh, where black owned businesses are highlighted. Um, we hope you enjoy. We hope you continue to watch. Um, and if you do enjoy what you see, please remember to like share, uh, hit that notification bell so you can continue to get notifications whenever we have, you know, a new interview with a black owned business, like sub subscribe and share. Three things is really free. And it's free. It doesn't cost anything. Doesn't no. cost, that's how you can support us. A lot of people ask me a lot, yo, Jay, you know, you stay on your ground. I love what you're doing. How can I support you? Like, subscribe and share. Just hit those yeah. buttons. And I say my pleases and thank you. So please like, subscribe, and share, and thank you. Mm -hmm. But without further ado, man, like you said, this is our second show. Last I one. So. Salute to Bear Strands. Salute to Tamika yeah. Lee. She was our first guest. And um, she was a person I had on mind because we go way back. And she's doing phenomenal things. Go check her out, bearstrands.com. But um, today, 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 today. I got a good friend of mine. Um, I don't know if he realizes it, but I met this young man in um, September of 1992. That was my first year that I attended Lamont High School. Um, I'm dating myself, yeah. <laughs> I started there when I was a 10th grader. And I met that young man, and you know he's been a good brother then. And 30 years later, it's been 30 years, another one. Wow. So, well, you know, I can definitely say I've heard a lot about him. I've never met him. So this will actually be the first time I'm meeting him, and I'm I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to talk so much about him. He can talk for himself. He's here. I want to welcome you checking in. Yes. My good friend. Hi. Hey. I finally get to meet you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The queen, the queen. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Yeah, right. <laughs> good, good. Craig Tucker, my brother. How are you, first? Of all? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, man. Yeah, just excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, 1992, huh? Wow. 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 Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, us being in the gym all the time, playing ball. Let me see some jump shots. <laughs> man, listen, Craig Tucker, his three-point game was crazy back then. <laughs> we we had wars in gym. Yeah. Wars yeah. School, like during school, gym class, all that. Like, you know, for those that don't know, I used to get a little busy. He used to get busy too, so. But enough about that. It's all about you today, sir. Yes. It's all about you. You have an incredible brand. We support black businesses. And when we started this, the intention was to highlight, you know, people of color doing remarkable things. No doubt. You know, I told wifey, listen, we got people around us that do great business, that have their own joints. Uh -huh. And you was one of the people on my radar that we wanted to highlight because I've watched you when you started, I believe, in 2012. Uh, well, yeah, like 2012, 2013. Okay. Yeah, around that time. Yeah. And I just watch from afar because, you know, we most times on separate coasts. So you doing your numbers. Um, sir, the floor is yours. I guess I should ask you, what's the name of your business? Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So uh, the name of my, my brand, my clothing brand is uh, In My Lifetime Apparel LLC. Yeah. And so, um, well, I started the business because, um, number one, uh, I guess Instagram was kind of just getting out there mm -hmm. and, and I felt like social media, um, was, I, I felt like it was growing and, mm -hmm. and I felt like 
you know, telling people, hey, I'm going to the bathroom every five minutes. You know, let me let me try to sell them something, you know. So I remember uh, those are the like the ground roots of why I wanted to start something. Now, um, you know, my nine to five, which I'm currently at, um, I sell. I'm a salesman. OK, mm -hmm. I sell dental supplies. So, you know, naturally, you know, me been doing that for 23 mm -hmm. years. I'm a natural hustler. Yeah. And so um, what in my lifetime was was a combination of me hustling and my passion um, mm -hmm. because I do have a passion for sports. Mm -hmm. And then Jason yeah. know that, um, you know, that's something that, you know, I'm very the pe the teams I love. I love with all, you know, with all my heart. Right. Mm -hmm. He's, so, he's so telling, he's telling that with all yeah. his heart is in Vincent. So it sounds, like this was nothing, it sounds like this was nothing new to you, but you kind of took it to another level. And I know on your um, your uh, website, you do talk about, you know, where the name In My Lifetime came from or the concept, I should say. Yeah. So would you be able to kind of go in more detail, you know? And share yeah, people, yeah. Every, everybody, you know, has, everybody has a why, right? Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. so um, so my why was, you know, my, my, my baseball team has been successful. Back in the days, my, my football team's been successful. And it's just one element in my life that I've never seen. And that was my basketball team, which is my beloved New York Knicks. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, I remember sitting at work. And um, at that time, the Knicks was, was okay. We was um, in the playoffs. Um, and we had 150 games in the regular season. And, I, and, it, and the, the thought came to me. Oh wow! Imagine if these this the Knicks won in my lifetime, and wow. so when that thought came to me, um, you know, I got goosebumps, and mm -hmm. I remember I said it to my coworkers, and they all jumped up and started like, "Yeah, imagine, imagine, imagine," <laughs> and then um, I said, "Well, imagine." And then I thought to myself, "Well, um, what? Imagine if I." Um, had something, uh, clothing, apparel that represent that. Mm -hmm. And so that's uh, where in my lifetime, can, because I want the Knicks to win in my lifetime. The last time they won was in 1973. I was born in 1977. Mm -hmm. So I felt like there's a lot of people that might have felt the same way. And so... Um, Every Nick so, man alive. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just... I'm, it, and see what it ties into the core essence of me, because... I'm a, I'm one of these hope guys, these, you know, believe in the impossible, you know, dream the injury. So, mm -hmm. so that, that kind of tied into that. Um, and so that's the reason why I started it. Um, and so, um, I remember now the transition from thinking of the concept of, you know, having it on a t-shirt. So what would that t-shirt look like? And, and I remember, even though I had thought of the idea, mm -hmm. I never did anything for at least a whole year. OK, wow. I mm -hmm. remember I trademarked the phrase in my lifetime mm -hmm. on apparel. So that the phrase in my lifetime on apparel is trademarked by me. Mm -hmm. So I trademarked the phrase, but I still didn't know what to do okay. um, or where to go. Right. Because mm -hmm. um, all I am is a hustler. I'm mm -hmm. not a computer guy. I'm not a, a T-shirt, graphic T-shirt designer. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not any of those things. And so I remember is this, is this after, where the learning, learning curve came in. You yeah, know? well, okay. well, after a year's time and me just sitting on it and not knowing what to do, eventually I always say God kind of eventually, because I, I used to see these dreams of the garden going crazy <laughs> and every all the, all the fans wearing the T-shirt and they're screaming, in my lifetime, in my lifetime. <laughs> I, used to have, I still have those dreams, right? And 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 the, and the player just looking around like, you know what? Let me just do it for these people. You know what I'm saying? It just uh -huh. went, right? But um, so, so anyway... Eventually, I started meeting the right people. So I met, I met, um, I met the graphic designer. Someone put me on, and I, I spoke to this guy for like an hour about mm -hmm. my passion. And then eventually, he drew, he he drew what was to be the Nick logo at that time. And I was mm -hmm. like, that's it. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so when it, so then when you when you start with one team, what happens is there's other uh, people that want they have passion for their own team. So right. then. I started doing um, other teams as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, but then as a couple of years went by, you know, sports is really mostly like, you know, mostly men are really into it. So mm -hmm. it really was just geared towards men. So I needed to 
somehow transform the brand more than just a sports brand mm-hmm. but to um you know to but to mean to other things right and so and so that's when i transitioned the brand um um to where i where it's at today mm-hmm. where um with my new logo and how um it means three different things hope educate inspire so mm-hmm. you know yeah i want the knicks to win that's my hope um mm-hmm. and then i have you know hoodies and t-shirts with powerful educational things like uh in my lifetime america cut the check um mm-hmm. and that that one is powerful because it has the reparations check that america owes black people wow um, and then on mm-hmm. the back of the uh shirt or hoodie has everybody who got reparations from america beside us. so when wow. someone says why 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 black people do the world y'all did it for this y'all right. did it for, did it for this, right. know, this right. people. Right. 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 Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's the most educational shirt I have. People mm-hmm. that is, it's a no-seller. When people it, when I when I have it at pop-ups, people buy it. That, this is what it is. And yeah. then my mm-hmm. other is, inspiration, um, one of the ones is it had to be God. Um, that was the one that um I remember I wanted something that had some sort of faith base to it. Mm-hmm. And it took me a while, it took a long time. I was waiting for the right moment. And then one day I sat in church, the preacher said it, someone touched me, I knew who it was, and I was in <laughs> running with it. Um, because yeah. you know, I feel like all good things come from God, and um, right. you know, it's inspirational. So right. so that's the transitional where it still be sports, but it still, you know, kind of include everybody. It all correlates together because if your next one in your lifetime. It had to be God. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, absolutely. Word. Facts. Y'all make me, I don't play. Like, y'all are diehard. Me, you know, my friends and I, we have an inside joke about certain sports teams that fans undying love. We call it the narcotic. That's your narcotic. Right, 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 right. First right. you didn't use drugs and you a Nick fan, that's your drug. It's that's your drug. Right, right. Stay away. Awful for your, your health, but you, it's a love that you can't explain. Absolutely. I see you with my, my peoples. Again, I can't really speak on it, but you the ultimate Nick fan. I think, honestly, believe in, in our lifetime, if we happen to see them win a championship, they need to put you in a parade, and that's real talk. Cause right, well, maybe I feel like uh, it, you know it's all a process. But as I meet the right people, I feel like I, I don't want to say it, but maybe they won't win until the Knicks actually get on board within my lifetime. That's until a- it ah. actually gets into uh-huh. the stores, until uh-huh. it actually becomes the pride of the city. And mm-hmm. so, you know, you know, every, you know, we get little things every time, like bing bong now is the big thing. You know, it's always a phase. It's always a fad. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when when the In My Lifetime fad gets in, I think that's when the time we're actually going to win. And so that's, mm-hmm. so I'm being patient. It, it's okay. It's all good because I'm just building it up and networking and trying to meet the right people. And eventually it's going to happen. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And they have to get on board. Eventually someone's going to catch heed to it and, and it's going to, it's going to spread like wildfire. So what year did you jump off the porch with it exactly? Like when you said, I'm pressing up some shirts. I got the idea. I'm inspired. I'm a person. Right. So, so like I said, right. 2012, 2013 is when the idea came. And Mm -hmm. I would say a year later, uh, 2014 is when I started, um, you know, you know, I, I, I I got the graphic guy and Mm -hmm. then I finally had to get a t-shirt guy. Cause mm-hmm. you know, I have a nine to five. So I, I just built the brand, but mm-hmm. what I do, I also, am, you know, employ other people. I have a manufacturer, um, okay. you know, that presses. And so then, um, and then at that time, I don't let anybody kind of control my business. So I have like four different manufacturers that way I can always have a check and balance or what I need. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, oh, what people don't understand is it's all, it's all a process. Then it's, what do you buy? How much do you buy? What's the sizes mm-hmm. that you buy? What colors do you buy? Mm-hmm. You know, these are the type of things that you got to think of. And, and eventually, basically what I do, you know, I, I you know, you know, like this, my, my nine to five, my nine to five funds my business. Okay. You know, and, and when I, when I, when I just had my nine to five and I didn't have my business, I was always nervous, scared, you know, always worried about, oh, what if something happens? You know, I still mm-hmm. work in corporate America. 
you know, I still have all those things that I go through just like everybody else. Right. And but I will say when in my lifetime came, actually it 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 took away that from my nine to five because I know I have something else mm-hmm. when I, on my fall back. And so um, you know, and and I allow everybody for all the people from my job, all my bosses, every they all know about it. They they can tell you more about my lifetime than me. <laughs> they watch me, they they joke about it, they laugh about it, you know. But so I love it because, because I I'm I'm serious about it, and, yeah. and it is nothing that you could take away from my baby, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. And so so it actually helped me my nine to five because I know I have something that that I'm really relying on and I built right. on the ground up, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So and besides, now, um, so, besides so the um, Jay, oh, I'm sorry. Jay too, Jay was very inspirational. I'm not sure mm-hmm. if I ever told Jay this. I think I did, but before I started in my lifetime. When you look at your timeline, you know, and you're always constantly, and I remember Jay used to go super hard about starting your own business, mm-hmm. um, getting out of your comfort zone, um, being your own boss, and those things used to feed into my system. Mm-hmm. So this was before I actually had in my lifetime, or even thought of the concept, but I realized that, hey, I wanted to start my own business. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be my own boss. And Jay had a big part of inspiring me to wanting to do that. Just by me scrolling and constantly reading, you know, looking at his inspiration through the timeline. So I appreciate it. That's why it's important of who you follow on social media. Right. Um, and, you know, if you're getting all the negative stuff, and all, you need to unfollow those people. You need to follow people that's going to inspire you to be great. Uh-huh. And, and that's what Jay did wow. before I even started my brand. And, I, and that's the God honest truth. And I believe those are the reasons why I started it because mm-hmm. I had, you know, those inspirational things. It's, it's, I think you hinted, hinted that to me before. You told me that when I last saw you, I believe it was last summer. Um, yeah, well, I thought two summers ago. It's yeah, 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 wow. yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's crazy, and I appreciate you for that. I think for me as an entrepreneur, a lifelong entrepreneur, I've always knew these things, and I just speak my random thoughts on. You know social media and you never know who's watching right 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 right. you know people have told me like yo you be preaching the gospel fam and i'm like i'm just telling you what i think i don't (laughs) i don't really do it with the intention of trying to inspire but i'm glad because the bible says if you reach one person you reach a nation nation. Um, so the fact that i can inspire you with somebody i could call a friend for 30 years to get up off the porch and go do something on faith that's now reaching the nation, Uh I mean, I I did my job. And I believe you're going to keep going with it. But you say you have a traditional nine to five and it funds your side hustle, which is not really your side hustle, it's your other job. Right. One of the things that I try to make sure people that have a traditional nine to five that's thinking about jumping off the porch and becoming self-made and having their own business I'll ask this to you. What are some of the good things, you know, as opposed to working for yourself and working nine to five? As an entrepreneur, what are some of the good things that you've experienced in your time as an entrepreneur? Yeah, what are the benefits, you know, being an entrepreneur for you? And maybe even some of the, you know, maybe the not so good things too. Yes, you know? I'm sure it comes with a lot, you know, of a lot of a lot of things that can weigh heavy on you as well, you know, being the owner and being in charge of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's a loaded question, right? So, uh, <laughs> well, one of the good, one of the good things is, you know, Hey, you could, you could get paid every day, right? Mm-hmm. You right. know, any, anytime you ready to get some money, you know, you could get paid every day. Um, one thing about clothes that I sell clothes don't expire. Right. So right. I'm not selling mm-hmm. food. I'm not selling this. So will I sell it today or sell it next year? You know, I, I'm gonna. I still. It's to me, it's investment. It's selling mm-hmm. your savings because I, I can sell it to make the money. Mm-hmm. Um, but th- those are the benefits, and that's what I love. The passion. Um, I mean, and also waking up in the morning and looking, and someone ordered on your website. You know, mm-hmm. making money while you're sleeping. You know that that stuff will never go old for me. Mm-hmm. You know, the biggest challenges I'm ha- I have, and and right now that's where I'm at is um, 
is you know you you realize at some point you literally can't do everything by yourself right yeah. i mean you're only one person um and the fact that i do have my nine to five mm -hmm. um that also limits to a certain extent so the the key right now is to building that team mm -hmm. um and build or getting around the right people that can support you and right. so in my in my business um when i was i went to a mentoring session and someone who a clothing brand um and you know there's nine different roles mm -hmm. that my clothing brand needs right um mm -hmm. and so as the ceo you're supposed to get nine people and then you're supposed to manage those nine people and then if someone leaves you're supposed to fill in as the ceo so you know me right now i'm doing like seven different jobs right you mm -hmm. know because i have all these different things so that's that's the key is learning um and growing and and trying to inspire to to build that that real that's how you really blow up when mm -hmm. you have a team that's right. working that's doing the work right. and, and 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 putting that effort and and watching it grow so mm -hmm. um that's that's where i'm at with it because at some point you can only do but so right. much and and you know you know like you know like 50 said you know you want things to run on autopilot that's mm -hmm. how you can constantly move to the next level and yeah and and when you have a team behind you so you know these are the things you know right now i don't have it but i'm mm -hmm. getting it in. you know i have a website guy i have a, a tax person but like certain mm -hmm. things inventory and and all those kind of things uh um you know but um i i love the i love um you know like i was i told jay earlier last year i did 43 pop-ups wow um and so i love I still have that passion, even though I have my nine to five, Monday right. through Friday, and I have a pop on Saturday and a pop up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I still love getting up in the morning mm -hmm. and getting ready and going to that pop up right. and selling the same product I've been selling the week before. Mm -hmm. I, I I love it. You know, yeah. I, I I get I get a thrill of it, and mm -hmm. so that passion drives me. And mm -hmm. and um and you know and God is God is good. God has been blessed. Yeah. You don't want to you know yeah you don't want to burn yourself out you know and it is important to find you know, or, or come in contact with people who have the skill, first of all, I guess the skill set that you need, um, as well as who truly believe in what you're doing. And Absolutely. And truly right. want to support you and are like-minded. Right, um, right, Yeah. And, you know, outside of, you know, in, you know, well, social media, I should say, and your, um, um, your online um, store, you know, so you said you do pop-up shops. You people, know, 43 pop-ups last year. a lot, yeah. I want people to understand something. Mm -hmm. The degree of difficulty that it takes to do 43 this man did it in the middle of a global wow. pandemic and he's mm -hmm. flourishing mm -hmm. but i'm sure it's nothing like having that one-on-one -on -one, you no. know contact with people you right. know when they absolutely see people, when absolutely they see absolutely yeah you see your face along with your product and kind of get a feel for you the person behind everything sometimes that makes them want to support you even more or absolutely. Even buy your product and keep absolutely. you know and spreading the word to other people you know absolutely. so you know i feel like we live in a day and an age now where everything is social media this social media and that and it and it definitely has its benefits but it's still nothing like that one-on-one -on -one contact with people. Like people still appreciate it, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, mm -hmm. and and it will grow, and it will grow, it will mm -hmm. grow. It's just, if people don't want to do it because it's not you know quote unquote sexy. Is that the fast <laughs> way route? But it's the grind, and they yeah. see the grind. They know mm -hmm. who you are. You mm -hmm. know, um, and so you know, you 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 can network with other vendors. Like I have such a network of other vendors that I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, now I don't have to chase a pop up. The pop ups come to me in my DMs of, mm -hmm. of what I can do and what I want because I'm in the pop up game. Mm -hmm. And some people, are, oh, how do you get to do some more? How do you know how? Because you got to get in it. You got to mm -hmm. get in it. You know. Now well, all pop ups are not great. You know. Um, I'm not sure if y'all y'all have a lot of pop ups out there in Vegas that y'all go to. Um, you know, because sometimes you know it don't be that much traffic um or you know you know it's a lot of various things but yeah number one they're tax write-off okay and so those that's a business expense mm -hmm. and number two some the sometimes the bad ones could lead to good ones i remember right. i had someone i met at a bad one and he put me on to one that was like amazing you know um because he saw that all the stuff that i have he's like you know what i got something for you right here you know mm -hmm. i guarantee it's gonna be popping and it was popping you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's just about that networking and people want to 
you know, get discouraged and, and stuff like that. And, oh, I don't want to do it on, you know, but you got to continue to show people that you're serious about your brand. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And well, so, so um, speaking with COVID, let me ask you something. Yeah. Um, It's tough. Everything has changed. Our way of life that we've lived for our whole mm-hmm. lives. You, we're never going back to that, I personally. No, no, no. No. This is kind of like the way of life now. Um, how or if, how has COVID affected your business for the good or has it affected it all? It sounds like you, you know, you keep pushing, you're keep pushing. Yeah, actually, it actually, it actually, it actually affected me pretty well, actually. I hate to yeah. say it. Um, because um the one I was first, I jumped on mass quick. Okay. Yeah. I remember in March 2020, um, by um, May 2020, I had masks, mm-hmm. like the regular cloth masks. Mm-hmm. And those, at that time, you could actually charge top dollar at masks because there was really no price set yeah. for masks. So people were just buying whatever. And so um, so that that um, that actually good. And then also what Jay is showing is these uh, electronic masks, too, oh, that I got. Wow. Where you can uh, literally program whatever you want. And change it at any time it works with your phone so wow. um maybe well, about six, six months before covid i had electronic hats um and that was doing well that was mm-hmm. great um that was something that um i saw online years before and then finally god put it in my pathway and then i was able to get my own connect through china with the hats but then when covid came the connect that I that get the hats, he he they came out with the mask. Mm-hmm. And so um so then I was able to so this the hats mostly guys wear a lot, mm-hmm. but the mask everybody wears, right? And can kids he, wear he, them too? Hmm? Uh, can kids wear them too? Or is it just mainly for adults or older, you know, older um, well it's adjustable handles. So oh, you can okay. it very well, small. I mean I would say like a, my son who's like a 10 years old, he could wear it. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah. So um um, and you could, and um, it works with your phone, and you know I call it the walking billboard, mm-hmm. um, especially for people who want to promote their business, who want to be out there. You know, when you wear this kind of stuff, the everything stops. I'm telling you, you walk in the room, everybody's looking, everybody talks, everybody. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, like it's different. <laughs> and so, um, so that's one of the been one of the things um, that I like to do to pop us a lot now because. Not only, you know, I'm selling in my lifetime, but mm-hmm. I also got the electronic stuff as well. Right. Which, um, you know, it, like I said, it's a walk-in billboard. You always mm-hmm. constantly promote your brand, your business mm-hmm. at all times, any day of the week. You know, you charge it up when it when the battery dies. So, you know, that's just just adapting to the times. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I remember, you know, um, you know, I, I, I had the cloth mask. I remember I was like, I gotta get on it. Like, I mean, it's something people are gonna be wearing. And, mm-hmm. and sure enough, um, you know, you couldn't keep them in stock. As, you know, I mean, they just kept going yeah. and going and going. I don't know? think I've ever seen seen that before until you know. He was, was the first person I ever saw with it, and I haven't seen it since. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's people out there now selling them. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. But, but that's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the first. You know, mm-hmm. word of because, because you know, eventually a big company, Apple, somebody's gonna grab this thing, and then they're gonna be lines around the corner, and and they're gonna charge two hundred dollars, <laughs> and, 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 and people are gonna be excited. You know, but at least I at least at least the people that knew me knew I brought it to them years. They're gonna be like, oh man, that's oh, old. Yeah, that's old that's old <laughs> Right. Um, and then um I got some breaking though. I could I could break on your interview. Oh, let's go. We like it. Yeah. So I started, you know, I had the regular hats, right? You right. know, regular like the hats, electronic like ball caps, right? Um, with that, but then this is coming in a few months, okay. and and so people always wanted yo, when you gonna do it on Scully's? So we no just way. got a oh. of, of no Scully's. The, the electronic it's yeah, going to be oh, I gotta get and, one of those. and it's going to be um different color scullies so you mm-hmm. have Shit. you know like a black scully or a white scully. you know it's different colors and stuff mm-hmm. like that so so this is I didn't tell nobody yet okay <laughs> so we were working on Are it you heard it first but, but it's, this is going to be next in. level <laughs> now like females where there's a pink scully with their little coat getting out the cars cold yeah. you know I mean that's mm-hmm. his, that's his natural life and mm-hmm. you can take the electronic thing out and watch the Scully. Okay, so it, it's gonna be it's gonna be next level. 
I want to tell the world so bad, but <laughs> I'm, I'm always, I'm, I always like to buy my product and, and then, then tell, cause then mm-hmm. when people buy, I can sell it. I can sell it to them right there. They ain't got to wait six weeks. They can get it right away. So you change so, so, yeah. yeah. That's, that's kind of one of the things I wanted to ask you too. Like you're not just t-shirts, you, you're not just hoodies, your hats, your mask. Yeah. So, what would you say is your biggest selling product that you have of all time of, out of your whole time? What is the one product that jumped off the shelves the most? Yeah, well, definitely um, uh, the uh, well, the electronic stuff. It, it, it's like crazy, like mask. Mm-hmm. And then my my it had to be God hoodies and okay. T-shirts. Uh, those are like automatics, like you right. know, you know. I mean, if you don't believe in God, then that's fine, okay. Right. But if you believe right. in God, then mm-hmm. you know, you know, you get it, right? It has mm-hmm. to be God. Um, so like, if that, that's always been like my number one seller, you right. know. Um, yeah, absolutely, you know, by far. But 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 with with these electronic masks, though, um, especially what I like about it is when I go to Papa's, right? You have the other vendors who are all business owners. Mm-hmm. and who all who want to promote their brand so what i love about the electronic mass it has is that they buy from me mm-hmm. so and you know they didn't go there to spend money they go there to make money but they love it so much that they they purchase it for themselves wow. and then at least they so they can promote their stuff they could be in the club or they could be wherever they're going and they could promote you know a t-shirt mm-hmm. i mean hairline or whatever they want to promote and have people come to them and then they could talk about their business mm-hmm. so um that's what i love about it because not only will customers buy the walking billboards, but vendors as well, you know? Wow. Um, and so, um, you know, God put this in my lap so it can illuminate in my lifetime. Mm-hmm. You know, it can draw people to in my lifetime, you know? So I have no problems, um, you know, so that's why, you know, even with my electronic hat, you know, I got the branding on the back, you know? And and truth be told, it's some celebrities I know that got it because I know people that sold it to them and. It, right. it's just, I'm just being humble about it and just, you know, just be on the grind because eventually, you know, it's going to, um, it's all going to come together, man. I promise. Yeah. 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 You, one of the things I urge to people that I, you know, kind of want to say counsel or advise, um, you cannot skip the steps in the grind. A lot of times we highlight people's success stories okay. made yeah. at the top and the finish line that they've made. Yeah, yeah, and it seems so easy and yeah, yeah, yeah. the overnights, the sleepless nights, to going broke, to being hungry, making a sacrifice, whether you've got to pay bills, go back into your business, they never tell out. So mm-hmm. I tell people the grind is what makes you. It may be hard, you may be down on your luck and you know you got something great and you want it to pop, when it pops, it's going to be greater when it's supposed to. If you try to force it too quick, you might shoot your load too quick and then you wrapped up. So, you know, I just try to get people, and I strongly encourage, don't skip steps. The grind is where it's at. It makes mm-hmm. you, it teaches you. You have to fail in order to learn. Right. right. They say fail often. Yeah. yeah. Fail that way you will learn. That's how you learn. That's, that's yeah. how you learn. Mm-hmm. That's how you learn. If you're learning something to better you know, serve yourself. So you're an example of that. It's yeah. crazy. I've watched you. I salute you. I appreciate you. I Thank mean, you, brother. Thank you. Like you you enlighten me even more about the yeah. brand. And I'm, I'm right there seeing it in real time. So people... Well, I, that's why I have to do a better job. Um, I, I'm still... Because that's the other thing. Me, myself, you know, putting content out. You know, putting the right content, putting mm-hmm. content with, like you we talked about earlier, ABC, where everybody knows exactly what's going on. And that's where I got to do a better job. You know, mm-hmm. I kind of, you know, I put things out, but I, sometimes I assume everybody knows, mm-hmm. or I don't put it up now. I don't, you know, so it's, you know, and then, you know, the battle of social media now, um, you know, before, you know, it's a level to first, you're like, oh, I'm only getting one like, oh my God. And then there's a level of, Okay, I don't care what I put. Who cares? Like, if they like it or not, I put it out there. You, then, they, 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 you got to get to that point um, where you don't even care. You just post, just post, post, post constantly right. to let people know. And so, you know, then you get to the point where, like, okay, am I over posting? You know, you always think of these things. So it's mm-hmm. just, um, 
it's just I got to do a better job of, of explaining it a little bit more, um, Listen, especially man. when I got product, you know, um, outside of the pop ups, you know. So that's why we're here. That's why we are checking right. in. Right, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, support people and highlight whatever they have going on. Right. I don't know if you know on the homepage of the series radio app. You're on there. All yeah. Of yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I always see that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you have been a big supporter, man. I appreciate that, man. Nah, listen, I really do, I man. Do, like, do, like, do, like for real. I feel like, like I need to support more, and I will. Um, you know, of course, our lives are hectic, just like yours. Yeah. At the same time, I'm taking the time to do this because the people around me, such as yourself, need to be highlighted because the ground up when you catch brands like you. It makes you feel like you're a part of a championship team mm. and it blows to the next level. Because in mm. his lifetime, the Knicks is going to win a championship. <laughs> I, <can't laughs> I said in his lifetime. I mean, yeah, I mean I, Grace, I love to see it. But all of his information is right here on the screen below. It's going to be in the description box mm-hmm. in YouTube. Mm-hmm. You can get in touch with him through the email. Go on the website, buy something, support him, tell a friend to tell a friend. His IG is on the screen. Uh-huh. All of that is going to be in the description box. Patch him with In My Lifetime uh-huh. team, please. And I have to say, it's been a blessing, you know, talking to you because, you know, I've heard definitely about your brand and In My Lifetime, but meeting you finally and talking to you about it, it helped me to understand it better. Right. And it seems like it's, you know, I, you know, just kind of how I'm feeling. It seems like it is a true reflection of who you are. Mm-hmm. you know um as a man like you know a god-fearing man you know a man of faith a man of hope and mm. i feel like that's what your brand speaks i know? like i like what you said that yes yeah yes. that's I what know. i'm feeling and that's what i see you know i um, gotta use that the brand yeah. that reflects of who i am because it yeah. is yeah. it is right I truly, i'm feeling that yeah thank you mm-hmm. well listen man thank you for coming on checking in we don't have no more questions for you. You broke right. it down. It's so crazy. You answered every question that yeah. we didn't even have to mm-hmm. ask. And that's how you know he has it together. You know, we, we made this platform to give people a square to stand on and really let the world know you did a great job of doing that. Support it. My lifetime tees.com, correct? Right. Uh, in my lifetime tees on IG. Is that all social media or just IG for that? Yeah, yeah, just this IG. Yeah, that's why I'm heavy on IG. Yeah, that's okay. cool. you got a visual yeah. product makes sense. Yeah. And if they want to get in touch with you, lifetime tease at Gmail is the way to get it. Absolutely, um, absolutely. I got all the information. I go to that website. Go get a mask, a hoodie, a hat, a tee. Got one for your kids. Got one for your wifey, your moms, your pops. He doing it. And absolutely. another question I have before we go. If a person sees something that they like, like as far as a team like the Knicks, but they're not a Knicks fan, mm-hmm. do you take requests that you can make a shirt for special teams that you may that may not be on your radar? Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just send me a DM, mm-hmm. and um, definitely I, I can make it happen for you. Absolutely. So that that's good to know because you know people are from all over. You got right, me. right, right. Right now, that's right. Well, eventually one day I'm going to have the license um or the rights with the nba rights or the, and the mlb rights and the nfl rights mm-hmm. to make all the teams and you know I, I want this team to win in my lifetime or i'm happy this team won in my lifetime i mean just think if the Bengals win on sunday um that that's a team oh, that no one would ever thought that they were winning in our oh, lifetime gosh, so man. it's wow. there's this this there's been teams that, that um you know even the chiefs they didn't win in 50 years there, yeah. there's there's a lot of teams since in my lifetime started that people would never thought were winning our lifetime and they've been winning Cleveland, like, the Cleveland Cavs the um, Cleveland Cavs uh, yeah the list the list goes on yeah so yeah I bet that's that's my dream um I have a business plan that's written up mm-hmm. and I um and I'm you know I got to present it to the right people but that that's the dream that's the goal you know I mean because something you are a lot closer to achieving that dream than you think because as you're saying that I'm like he needs to talk to such and such so we'll We'll talk about that behind the scenes. People don't need to know that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're going to figure mm-hmm. something out because, like I said, I'm here. I've been put here for a reason. I've been left here for a reason. And I think part of it is connecting the dots. I've always been a dot connector. Mm. My job, by design, to put people in the right position so they can eat and flourish and feed their family. 
I think right. that's what God uses. He uses people as vessels. I think that's what I'm good at. I've always been. And I'm going to do it. If I, as long as I got breath, I'm going to try. I can right. never get to see the results, right. but I can definitely make the calls. Um, but thank you, man. I appreciate you. Right. Right. Thank, thank you, man, for the opportunity. Yeah. I love talking about my business. <laughs> I love this platform. I love the energy that you bring. Okay. And you know, um, you know, thank you, man. We need you. You know, we, uh, we you know, we're, we're nothing without our people that support us. That Absolutely. you know, that that give us their platform to to, to promote our brand. So, um, you know, thank thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it, man. And, you and know. let me know. We'll be, pull up. we'll be pulling up in New York in a few months. Okay. You know, we'll mm -hmm. pull up wherever you at. We'll make it happen. Yeah, no doubt, man. All right, man. I appreciate you, Craig. Right, thank man. you. No Thank doubt, you. Man. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Finally. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. All right, man. All right, man. All right. All right. All right. Later. All right. Man. That, brings wow. me joy, that man. was a great interview. Listen, it brings me joy. I'm getting a little emotional because you, mm -hmm. when you know somebody since your childhood, literally, I mean, I was, what, 15 when I met him? Um, and, you know, life, you know, through the internet, and we've not been around each other as mm -hmm. much as we would like in the past 30, but we keep in contact and mm -hmm. know what each other's doing. To see him go to where he's at, for him to say, I inspire him, that means a lot to me because yeah. I'm just me every day. I don't know how to do nothing else. And the fact yeah. I inspire someone to, to achieve their yeah. dreams and watch it come alive on top of that, mm -hmm. that's the world of me, that's what checking in is about, right? Mm -hmm. okay started it for to give black people a platform, a to, platform you know, right. to to jump off their business whether they're getting off the ground or where they're highlighting where they at mm -hmm. he's doing amazing things go to lifetimetees.com and get some merch man them electronic masks and them hats that's i can't wait to get the, the hat the scully oh my god you know valentine's day is monday right and <laughs> I don't ever, I don't ever you nothing. You're about to get all type of wow, everything you want. I just want one of those masks. I need that. We'll see. <laughs> Please and thank you. Um, but no, listen, lock, lock in with him. It's on the screen. Yeah. Website is lifetimetees.com. His IG is in my lifetimetees.com. And if you've got any questions, mm -hmm. anything that you need, any concerns, anything. Hit him up. He's accessible. Lifetime tees at gmail.com. The links, everything that he has going on will be in the description of the box down below. And please, before we go, don't forget to do this. Like, subscribe, subscribe and it's share. It's free. It'll take you two seconds. Uh -huh. Notification bell so you can get alerts every time we drop a checking in. Um, And that's it. I got nothing else. Except for Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Backslash radio. Download the standalone Dead Series radio app. We have the most incredible radio station in the world. 24-7. Because I'm an, an owner. You're not gonna find terrestrial mm -hmm. radio or internet radio that has more music than me. We um, play what pop, everything. We play everything. grind, we play the ultimate oxygen. underground hip hop, R and B. I mean anything you can imagine, old school music. Afro be anything you can imagine that we play it and it, you just never know what you're going to get you know salute, when you listen salute to our two other owners too Don Rich what up Cats Ribs on Cats Wheels, wheels, on wheels yeah. I'll see y'all next week I'll be out there um, he leaving me y'all he leaving me duty calls I gotta go get to that bag that bag, <laughs> that bag don't come to you you gotta go get it that's what I'm gonna do yeah do a couple of checking ins. Um, I can't really tell people where I'm gonna be at or what else I'm gonna be doing. They'll see it on the YouTube channel as mm -hmm. well. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Kisa's channel too. She's got her own YouTube channel, Captured by Kisa. Yes. At yeah. Captured by Kisa, K I S A. And if you forget, as soon as this video is over, if you forget everything you need to know as it relates to me, Kisa, and Craig from In My mm -hmm. Life. It's going to be in the description box. You don't have to wonder. You can tap in. If it's your first time, patch in. We got a lot going on. Yeah. And if you do go to the deadserious.com uh, website, you can also listen to the station from the website as well. But we yeah. do, like you know, like Jay said, we do have a standalone app. You can access it. You All know, streaming you have, Yeah. 
if you have an Android, Apple, you know, iPhone. You still got a Blackberry, which you shouldn't, but, <laughs> but Apple Android stores just in there. Um, down and we do highlight black owned businesses on, on our homepage. on the homepage of our app. So there are uh, black um, owned businesses on the app that you can, you know, look up, you know, go straight to their websites from the app. So that's another feature that we have. So we not only do it here, but we also do it, you know, through our radio station and through our app, our radio app. So, yeah, that was a wonderful interview, man. I, I'm, I'm still a little just blown away. Craig is an amazing person, got an amazing brand. Yes, he's, he's he just a has a certain spirit about him that I felt. Yeah, um, and I think he's going to do continue to do great with his business. Yes, he will. Yeah. I got anything to do with it to help him. Mm-hmm. We'll get done. I'm going out to the West and I'm gonna connect the dot for him because mm-hmm. there's some things that like damn I'm about to go be around him. such and such that could work. So we're gonna make that happen. Um but thank you for tuning in again. Like, subscribe, and share. Mm-hmm. Follow me on IG, J Gatsby169. It's on the screen right there. Follow Kisa at Captured by Kisa. Um follow the follow the dead serious brand on IG, and that's Dead Serious, E-N-T, and uh, Dead Serious is spelled S-E-R-U-S, because people be like, you told S-E-R-I-U-S. me. No, S-E-R-I-U-S. S-E-R-I-U-S. I-U-S. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you say the I, I'm sorry. I, no, it's cool. Because <laughs> right, sometimes people ask me, what's the name of it? And I tell them, I can't find it, and I spell it out, and they still can't find it. They're spelling serious the way you spell serious in the dictionary. Mm-hmm. So S-E-R-I-U-S, people. Right. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Like, subscribe and share. Comment. Let us know if the content was trash. If you yeah, let us, and also, yeah, let us know if you have any um, yeah, ideas of black owned businesses you would like for us to, you know, reach out to and to, you know, potentially interview. Let us know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hit that like button or hit the dislike button. It's engagement either way. You might not like it, and I can respect that too. We take criticism mm-hmm. very well. Um. But well, thank you. I'm Jay Gas. Yes, thank you. And, and I am Kisa. And until next time, be safe and enjoy yourself. Yep. See y'all on the West Coast soon. Catch ribs. See you soon. Bye.